guys, my name is Emily and today I am just going to be doing, as you can see by the title, uh, an Easter makeup tutorial. So yeah, and I am trying to like incorporate it with what I'm wearing and I'll probably do an outfit of the day, but if I don't, I'll just show you what I'm wearing. So, and if you're wondering, I'm in my kitchen. So it's like a navy blue skirt with like red flowers and green leaves and it is just so perfect for Easter and springtime and yeah and if you're wondering about the quality I am filming with my MacBook um I don't I didn't bring a mirror so nope didn't bring a mirror I brought this see MacBook no okay but yeah so I am just going to get started and like I said, I just, well, I didn't say it, but I just got my MacBook, so I'm kind of trying to figure it out. And the one I got didn't come with iMovie because I got the MacBook Air rather than the Pro, so I don't think the Airs come with it, but I'm trying to figure it out. So tell me if it's good quality, bad quality. I have a, a little camera, not a camera, a camcorder, but it's just easier to do it straight from my laptop, so yeah. So, I already did my face makeup, except for cheeks, and I'm already wearing a chapstick, and I'll show it to you. And it is the Sprouts Farmer's Market Natural Lip Balm. Oh my god. That's cool. And it just looks like this. It's clear. And that's my natural lip color, so if you're wondering. So, yeah, I'll just get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to prime my eyes with my Too Faced shadow insurance. Sorry. And you could use whatever primer you like. I just have this one because I don't know where my MAC Paint Pot is in Painterly. And I like seriously don't know what that is. So, And then my other primers I don't like. And this one's okay. But I don't know. My bit, it's probably where I live that it's humid. It's like very humid so it just doesn't work that well. But using it. So just a tad bit of this, and I'm just going to do my right eye, so this video could be quick. I'll just put up a little too much. How did I bring that? So just blend that in. And this eye primer as well, just help your eyeshadow from creasing. So. Then I'm going to take this little Clinique palette that was a freebie, and it has a blush and an eyeshadow duo, and the duo is in Like Mink Duo. I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah. And I'm just going to be taking the beige color with my coffee brush. I don't know where this is from, but like everybody has these brushes, probably from Dillers. I don't know. My mom gave it to me. And just take that all over your brush. And I am just going to be putting this from just all over, lid, crease, a little bit more, I don't know, you could sort of tell. Whoa, makes my eyebrows look like really weird. Anyways, so just take that. And then I'm just going to be taking my NYX Ultra Pearl Mania little glitter, and it looks very gross. And it's a green. I ripped off the little tag, as you can see. So it's just in a green color. And I don't remember what it's called because this is like the first time I've used it. And I'm going to take my MAC 219 SC brush, which is just a pencil brush. It's clean. I haven't cleaned it. And I'm just going to take what's in the lid and kind of swirl it around. Oh my god. That's the pigment. Well, it's a pigment. But. And you're just going to put this into your crease. Very lightly. And then take your fluffy brush. Kind of dust it off a little bit because I didn't bring my blending brush because like I said I'm in the kitchen and just kind of blend it out just a bit just 
just like that. And then you're going to take it again and just kind of drag it onto your lower lash line. So let's see if I can do this. A little more in the crease. Just like that. I like to close this before anything spills, which it just did. And just blend it out a little more because you don't want a real harsh line. And then I'm just going to be taking my MAC 252 SE. Oh. I'm taking my Too Faced Naked Eye Palette, and I'm going to just be taking In the Buff, which I hit pan on, one color, because I don't really like all those dark colors, I mean they're nice, and I'm going to be taking also Pillow Talk, which is right next to it, and I'm going to like get some of this, and then some of that, and then some of this, so it's like a kind of shimmery, but it's not like too crazy shimmery. And I'm just going to put that under my brow bone. And it looks white. And then into my inner corner. So that's it for eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to be taking... <coughs> Sorry, I think my sister got sick. My eyelash curler. Um, not my eyelash curler, that's for later. My Clinique High Impact Mascara, and that was also a freebie. And let me scoop this closer. That helps. And it's just in black. And just apply this to your upper lashes. And this is a good mascara, it's just like not good for my lashes. Like it's good, but it's not great. And like I said, I have no mirror, so. Ooh. Just like that. And I'm just going to let that dry. And while that dries, sorry about my hair, just got out of the shower, fresh. I'm going to be taking my Prescriptive's Coloscope Plush Blush to, for Plush Blush for Cheeks and Lips in Maui May Thai 06. And I'm not yet sure if you're going to be able to see this. Probably won't. No. But it's just this convertible color. And it's in this really pretty red color, but it's kind of sheer. And I'm going to be taking my Flirt Cosmetics Powder Brush. And I'm just going to kind of get some of that on there. Smile to find the apples of your cheeks, which are right here. And then go upward to, like, your hairline. Not to your, like, temples or anything, but your hairline. And, of course, you could just, like, dab that right there. But, of course, I've used it on my lips. So, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going for a more red color, even though it's going to turn out pretty sheer, because like I showed you, the red on my flat, on my skirt, the red flowers. And of course, you don't have to use these exact products I'm using. These are just the ones that I have, so I'm going to use. Of course, you, there's dupes out there for everything. So yeah. And then I'm just going to put this on my lips. Can't really tell a difference, but yeah. And then back to my lashes. I am just going to take an eyelash curler and curl my lashes. I find it works like this because um, it, the mascara makes the curl stay. So, yeah, that is this finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.